We are less than a week away from Halloween. While it is a fun night, use this time to prepare to be safe. News Force Caitlin Ogle tells us what IMSA paramedics want you to remember. Happy Halloween! All Hallows Eve, when children dress up and roam the streets searching for sweet treats. Trick or treating! But dangers could lurk close by. Who wants to spend their Halloween in the ER? After nearly 20 years at IMSA, Tori Thompson knows it's not all costumes and candy. We don't want kids crossing traffic. That's where the accidents happen. Thompson says people get hit by cars the most on Halloween than any other night of the year. She's seen it before. A kid um, came out of a car, tripped, and was run over by a vehicle um, trying to cross traffic. Tripping can also lead to broken bones and concussions. So make sure your child's costume fits and can easily be seen by drivers with something like reflective tape. Flashlights that hook on the costume are very appropriate. Or to not ruin the illusion of the carefully crafted costume, what about glow sticks or bracelets? If you see a crew out while you're out trick-or-treating, stop and get you some bracelets. Then, of course, the loot of the evening, candy. Remember, young ones can easily choke on small pieces like this Whopper instantly. It's a matter of putting it in your mouth, not chewing, swallowing. We have an airway obstruction. Now watch what to do if that happens on this ultra realistic mannequin. Flip them over, head down and give them five hard back blows. And then we're going to turn over and look if we see anything in the airway that we can remove. If you can't, start the Heimlich, making a fist just below the bottom ribs, thrusting in and up. And if they go unconscious at that point, Call 911, start CPR. With two to three fingers going a third of the way into the chest at most. We don't want them to be injured. We don't want this to be a tragic Halloween. In Oklahoma City, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Also, remove any tripping hazards from your porch and look out for your pets. Make sure that they're tagged or microchipped and keep them in another room. A noisy doorbell and strangers at the door, that could really scare them.